America, behold, an empirical statement of fact from the President of the United States. In the six months before I took office, we lost nearly four million jobs. And we lost another four million before our policies were in full effect. Those are the facts. But so are these. In the last 22 months, businesses have created more than three million jobs. Last year, they created the most jobs since 2005. In the last 22 months, businesses have created more than three million jobs. Last year, they created the most jobs since 2005. That's what he said. So the self-proclaimed fact-checking news site, PolitiFact, decided to fact-check this claim by the president. PolitiFact describes itself as a nonpartisan journalism enterprise. They fact-check what politicians and public figures say, and then they rate the statements uh, with this thingy. They call it the uh, truthometer or the truthometer potato, potato. Uh, so PolitiFact um, looked into this part of the president's speech. In the last 22 months, businesses have created uh, more than 3 million jobs. Last year, they created the most jobs since 2005. They went to the Bureau of Labor Statistics to figure this out. I don't know if they looked at this specific report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, but in about 15 seconds of Googling, we found this, and you'd find it too, uh, from a couple of weeks back, January 6th, 2012. In this report, the Bureau says since February 2010, quote, the private sector has added 3.2 million jobs. So that's 22 months. In 22 months, businesses added more than 3 million jobs. PolitiFact came to the same conclusion. So put a check mark next to that part. It checks out what the president said is true. PolitiFact then went on to say, OK, the second part of Obama's statement, that part about how businesses made more jobs last year than at any year since 2005, turns out that's true, too. Quoting PolitiFact here, as for whether 2011 was the best job producing year since 05, he's right if you're counting private sector jobs. They go on. The increase in 2011 represented the highest one year total since 2005. So to sum up, president says thing A and thing B. PolitiFact looks into it, decides that thing A and thing B, as stated by the president, both true. So on their truthometer, they rate the statement Half true. How did two trues add up to a half true? Ah, quoting PolitiFact, Obama is correct on both counts when using private sector job numbers. That's probably why I said businesses, right? Right. But he went too far when he implicitly credited his administration's policies. So we write the statement half true when he implicitly credited his administration's policies. Businesses have created more than three million jobs. PolitiFact, what is wrong with you? You think the president calls himself businesses like it's a nickname for himself? You think he looks in the mirror and says, hey, businesses, looking good. Businesses have created more than three million jobs. What are you talking about? After The Economist, Jared Bernstein, and half of the English-speaking internet eld so ol at PolitiFact for screwing this up today, PolitiFact went back and revised their initial finding. They said this, our original half-true rating was based on an interpretation that Obama was crediting his policies for the jobs increase. But we've concluded that he was not making that linkage as strongly as we initially believed. Okay, phew. Right. So now we're back to something that uh, calls itself PolitiFact fact-checking the president, saying thing A and thing B, both of which PolitiFact says are true. What is their chastened, revised, new rating for their fact-check of the president saying two things that they admit are true? What's their new rating? Mostly true. Mostly true. PolitiFact, you are fired. You are a mess. You are fired. You are undermining the definition of the word fact in the English language by pretending to it in your name. The English language wants its word back. You are an embarrassment. You sully the reputation of anyone who cites you as an authority on fact-ishness, let alone fact. You are fired.